This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Okay, so welcome back to Higarashi When They Cry, Chapter 2, Watanagashi, everybody. So, we're starting the final stream. Hopefully. Man, it's going to be bad if we can't finish it this stream. But before we begin, I kind of want to share the theories that I have for what the heck's going on. So there have kind of been two things that I've been trying to figure out. One is what the heck is going on in Chapter 2. And two, how is Chapter 1 connected with Chapter 2? And I think I'll address the second of those because that kind of is going to feed into... My impression of how Chapter 1 and 2 are connected is probably going to feed into my impressions of Chapter 2. So my current theory is that... Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 are, like, parallel universes, where it's, like, the same events happening, but just in a different universe. And my uh, my current theory is the only difference between Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, at least in terms of the overall timeline, is that Shion did not exist in Chapter 1, but she does in Chapter 2. So, like, the only difference between the timelines is that in this one, Mion had a twin. And all of the changes we've seen in Chapter 2 are a direct result of... Uh, Shion existing. Because it still seems weird to me that if Shion was a thing in Chapter 1, we would have heard about her, at least in passing. But we didn't. So my my current guess is that Chapter 1, she didn't exist. Chapter 2, she does. And like my current theory is that each chapter is either going to add a new character or take a character away. And like that's going to affect things. Otherwise... My current impression of the horror stuff going on is that... So people go crazy. In Chapter 1, Rena and Mion, and I also think Keiichi were all kind of collectively going crazy at the same time. And then in Chapter 2, it seems like either Mion or Shion is the one going crazy. I don't know for sure what the heck is causing this. My only real guess is either... like. I have two weird theories that are both far-fetched. One is that, like, when they were tr digging and, like, doing all, like, the construction of the dam, that, like, somehow they uncovered either some weird, like, I don't know, underground pocket of gas or, like, some form of radiation that's leaking and causing neurological issues, or demonic possession in some regard. Like, those are kind of my one... <laughs> it's probably one of those two. It could be demonic possession, but I'm not sure if uh, they would actually go for that in a game like this. I don't know. But there's all this talk of Oyashiro-sama and, like, people being human-demon hybrids. So I think that's probably more likely? I, I don't know. I'm still not super sure of how that's happening. But if it is some kind of, like, malevolent force, like demons, it might make sense where they're, like, trying to pick out their hosts to, like, lose it and go crazy each year. And in chapter one, they're like, "Oh, let's let's do it these characters," but then they picked Shion this time around. I don't I don't know. My current impression of chapter I think I have chapter two figured out though. I am pretty sure that it's Shion who's behind all of this because Shion was acting kind of paranoid the same way Keiji was in chapter one before everything like kind of went to hell. And my impression is that she was she's been impersonating Mion. And I think at this point, Mion is either dead or, like, kidnapped somewhere, and Shion's basically taken over her identity and faked her own death to kind of become the new leader of the family, as well as getting revenge against her sister for, like, constantly snubbing her growing up, even if it wasn't her fault. I don't know why she's, like, kidnapping all these people and potentially killing them, but it might just be she's going crazy for demon possession. I don't know. That's... That's kind of my current theory. So I'm pretty sure it's Shion who's the one who's like kidnapped all the people and is doing all this and not Mion. It could be Mion uh, made Shion disappear or Shion ran away and Mion's been impersonating Shion, but I think it's the other way around. Hmm. Yeah, Tomatake and Takano are both either died or disappeared in both chapters. So I'm guessing whatever malevolent force is out there is specifically targeting them for some reason. I don't know for sure. That's my current theory, so now let's start the beginning of the end. Game theory. Okay, so Shion just gave us the crazy call and we learned that she was the uh, mastermind. And now our parents are back. Okay. 
気の毒にな。Thanks, Dad. Normally, my dad never shows me any consideration, but this time he did. うちの圭一もしばらくの間学校を控えた方がいいんじゃないのか警察が何とかするまで外出を控えた方が安全だと思うぞ。That's reasonable. そうね。もしもってことに比べたら学校を何日かお休みにするくらい。When even the Asian parents are saying you should take school off, that's,、uh, that's when you know it's getting serious. So, the only thing that's going to happen is that the school is going to be a little bit more than the school. True. The school is going to be a little bit more than the school. Mom and Dad were getting pretty riled up, but at this point I couldn't care less. Besides, that wasn't the only thing I couldn't care less about. The breakfast table, the food in front of me, the time and date myself. I really had no interest in anything. Oh, I thought we were gonna run after Shion, like, slash Mion, right after the events, but now apparently we waited till morning. I guess, you know, it's probably a good idea to not go rushing there alone. Maybe we should get Uishi and the police officers on our side. Because they're also planning on breaking into the Sonazaki residence, so I think that's where we'd have to go next. This feeling, it was like a dead fog in my mind. It felt like getting dizzy after taking strong medication. Keiichi, what's the school's work? Is it going to be a little bit more than the school? If it's not, I'll be able to 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 be Today was Thursday. Only four days had passed since the Watanagashi Festival. Such a short time, and yet now things were completely different. Everything had changed. The tranquil village, bright and clear as if it were an Indian summer, had, not, had undergone a total reversal. People were made to disappear every night, and we couldn't even relax when walking out in broad daylight. The village had become a world of fear. I had no right to curse this outcome. After all, the one responsible for everything was me. Um, no, it was, it was Shion, actually, that night. I couldn't resist my honesty, honestly tiny, little, and incredibly stupid curiosity, and broke the taboo. Here, <laughs> これが合いびき現場じゃないと分かったなら十分だろう。俺はこんなのには全然興味はないんだ。こんなところにいる間にリカちゃんの演舞が終わっちゃったらどうするんだよ。I prattled on as I took the lock from Tomotake-san's hands and put it back on the door. I'll forget everything I saw here, so come on. Let's go, let's go! Takano-san was fretting, but I pushed her away. Tomotake-san grinned painfully. Shion's shoulders drooped as if to call me an idiot. Even so, I didn't care. I pushed everyone farther and farther away. Rika's dance was still going on. Then at last, her dance was brought to a close with a roaring applause. I too, until my hands turned red, I clapped. And I clapped. You can't change the past, Keiji. Ding dong! Uh oh, Ren is here. I looked up at the clock. It was five minutes past my time to meet with Rena. Dad knows best. I rose from my seat. I went to the entrance to greet Rena. <laughs> Not me! I'm too smart for school! Ah, that's right. If we, the ones farthest away, were to be late, the younger kids on the way there would be waiting for us. Well, that's gonna be rough on Rena. She's gonna be the only person even remotely near her age there. I think the next closest person to her age is Teacher. Very understanding, though. Rena answered shortly, nodding. Chapter 2 Rena is best girl. If Rena's actually crazy 
and evil and like psychotic in this uh, chapter, that will be a plot twist, actually. <laughs> I would not be expecting that. I took the notice. There were a lot more pages than normal. The one on top announced the disappearance of the mayor, Rika, and Satoko, and that they wanted any information about them. It made my heart ache. Hey, how's it going, Fawful? <laughs> Sorry, didn't didn't realize you were in chat. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Chapter 2, Rika is best because she had more screen time. Fair enough. I guess Rena's been a bit more of a major character, and she's she's really been there for KG when he's been having a real rough time. I guess so did Rika. It's not her fault she got kidnapped. <laughs> Rena said, smiling in an attempt to give me courage. Rather than that, though, her smile looked like it was because she herself wanted to believe they were safe. Rena <laughs> Okay, was there, like, a secret prank camera hidden? Like, everybody knows. I was speechless for a moment, but then I bit my lip and made up my mind and nodded a little. So she was upset. I suppose she would have been. That's. I'm not sure if Rena actually has a condition that she needs to take meds for to like stabilize her mood. If she has like schizophrenia or something, but if so, yes, she's much better on her meds. <laughs> I mean, yes, up to this point, Chapter Two, Shion has been best Shion, but she's definitely not best girl. <laughs> I'm noticing a trend. Whenever Keiichi doesn't tell the truth, everything goes to hell. I should have told her myself and apologized. That troubled me. Just one week ago, I did something that I myself should have apologized to Mion for. I'd hurt her badly. However, I hadn't realized that at all. Plus, with all the confusion that Shion's appearance had brought, I still hadn't been able to talk to Mi Mion about it. You know, we should have just given Mion the stupid doll. If we had just given Mion the doll, probably very little... Well, okay, no. Tomatake and Takano would have probably still died. But I feel like the rest of the stuff may not have happened. Rena, <laughs> Ren is thinking the same thing. Also, slight guilt tripping. <laughs> I couldn't answer right away. I couldn't admit to that. Wasn't Rena telling me right now, though, that I should have admitted to my crime sooner? If I had done that and apologized. Would things not have gone in such a horrible direction? Rena's eyes were filled with kindness, but they weren't naive enough to forgive me for keeping silent. And they started fixedly into my they stared fixedly into my own. Ah. So that. If I had admitted my crime sooner, then Rika and Satoko wouldn't have had to die or disappear. Smack! Did she punch us? The palm of Rena's hand slapped me in the cheek. She did. I stood there unmoving, my head still tilted in the direction I'd been hit. It didn't hurt at all. <laughs> I pressed my ha hand to my cheek, now warm with embarrassment, and quietly stared at down at Rena's feet. <laughs> she is the best! <laughs> Hi. 
もっと悪いのは自分が悪いことをしたのを認めないこと悪いことをするのはとてもいけないことだけどそれを認めて謝らないことはもっともっと悪いことなんだよ It's true. はい僕が I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. If my demon possession theory is correct, then it actually, I don't think, would have made a difference. But again, that was just a theory. For a few moments, Rena stared at me silently and intently, as if gauging my remorse. Then finally, the tension in her face softened, and she smiled. <laughs> yeah, m mom's definitely listening in on this. Uh. I bent down to pick up the notice, which I dropped when she slapped me. Oh, man. The pages had come out of the clasp and were now making a mess on the floor. I gathered them up one by one. My hand stopped at a single, more lighthearted page with peaceful sentences dancing on it. We still have plenty of homemade soy sauce in stock. Feel free to come to the Sonazaki house if you want some. <gasps> There it is! I picked up the page and scanned the rest of it. They were stockpiling high quality soy sauce that they got from faraway relatives in the Akita prefecture. They had gotten a big shipment recently. They couldn't use it all, so they wanted anyone who wanted some of it to feel free to come over, is what it said. As a PS, it said it arrived in barrels, and to, bring, uh, to please bring along a two liter bottle or other container for it. That's how it tied together. Well, we kind of established. That was Rena's theory last time as well, where she's like. She took very. Rena immediately noticed exactly how much food was in their house. <laughs> and she's like, they made a food, but then they just put it in the refrigerator. And then they went out, presumably because they got invited over to somebody else's house to eat. And presumably that they. Ah,、uh, it was someone they trusted. So we kind of already had to put the pieces together that it was Mion's house. Rena, you know. I want to know if, if Grandma Oreo is alive or dead, though. Hmm. Or if she's kind of in on this. Rena had already been suspicious of Mion as soon as she noticed that big bottle of soy sauce was missing. Hey, Mobius! Happy Halloween! <laughs> Don't mind us, I think we're getting close to、uh, raiding our kind of sort of psycho girlfriend's house, where she may have kidnapped a bunch of people. It's gonna be great times. Rika had taken the bottle, gone to Mion's house, and there she was erased. Rika wasn't coming back, so Satoko called Mion's house, and she knew where she had gone, and then Satoko got called there as well. That meeting on the day the mayor disappeared. Didn't Uisi san say that the three families participated in it? The three families would include the Sonazaki family. That's. Yeah. I mean, Satoko doesn't really seem to have any friends outside of, like, Rika and kind of sort of the other three. Also, apparently she and Rika are both orphans, too, so no family either. It's not her fault, by the way. It's a、uh, small town world, all that. Didn't he also say the current leader was really old, so her heir, Mion, frequently stood in for her at public appearances? While the mayor was returning from the shrine, Mion called out and stopped him. She talked to him and invited him to their house, and then she made him disappear. It was probably even simpler. To make Shion disappear. Shion was part of the Sonazaki family. Again, I think it's Shion who's doing this, not Mion. They probably knew exactly what she was doing at all times. I'm sure they even knew her part time job schedule, too. Thinking back, wasn't that Angel Mort's store managed by the Sonazaki family? Setting up an ambush for her there wouldn't have been any trouble at all. Don't do that alone! I'm not going to do that alone. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay, I'll stop killing people. Yay! With that decided, there was no need for me to be lazing around here. 
I put on my shoes and slipped past Rena to exit the house. When she stopped me. レナ、学校はいいのかよ。学校なんかよりもっと大切な用事だよ。レナは来るな。この上レナまで巻き込まれたら、頭が。Yeah, you've never done that before. Rena didn't move her arm, which was blocking my way. ケイチ君までいなくなったら、私も頭がどうにかなってしまうかもしれない。You should go together. Rena, can you bring your hatchet, though? Rena argued boldly as tears welled up in her eyes. I saw them and I knew the strength of her resolve. Okay, Rena, get your uh, get your hatchet. Keiichi, get your uh, retractable metal baton. I mean, your baseball bat, and we'll we'll go j just as a precaution. Then wait, never mind. Mion has a gun. Rena. Rena nodded slightly, but firmly, and finally let down the arm blocking me. Let's go. To Mion's house. I'll apologize for the crimes I've committed. Then we'll put an end to these twisted days. After that, I'll pray that once more we can return to those fun, lively days. I don't know. If this all goes down, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be Keiichi and Rena alive. With Rena following me, I left the house. In front of the house, there was a car waiting. It was Zuisi. Hey, new best friend! Can you come with me to Mion's house for bodyguard protection? <laughs> what a truly praiseworthy man he was. If he had been lying in wait so early in the morning just to pressure me into talking. On this morning, though, maybe this was actually a good opportunity. I've never interacted with her before. You literally drove her home, though. Rena just got into a random stranger's car and she didn't even know who he was. Uh, maybe it's a model gun, maybe it's a real gun. <laughs> oh, is she gonna turn me in? Oh, never mind. Pain and sadness. I looked down as those emotions built up in my heart. <laughs> He's like, man, I should have had this girl come along in the first place. <laughs> Your car has air conditioning. We should go in there. <laughs> I only continued to look down weakly. All I could do is be thankful for how dependable Rena was. Yeah, like I said, Rena's a real winner in this timeline. At Rena's urging, I revealed everything to Uisi. The latter, while making sure I had to throw in murmurs that he was paying attention every now and then, took notes. We continued that way for a while. <sighs> you know, I really do. Luisi asked this while scratching his head with his ballpoint pen. Of course, I don't feel better. The price that had been paid up until now for me not owing up to my crimes had been so immense. But as long as that payment wasn't returned, the load on my chest could never be removed. His radio started to emit static. <laughs> what a hard working man he is. Bzz, the radio grew silent. 
その先け前は動きなしって。<笑> We're spying on the place. We got the drones out. いや、そんな風に聞こえちゃいましたそりゃ困ったな。Well, half the club is dead at this point, so. <笑> Or at the very least kidnapped. 秘密にしてくださいよ。課長から内定の許可はもらってないんですから。ウィシさん had suspected me on for a long time. 事情、調子も固く捜査も。とにかく何にも<笑> That can't be legal. その先本家を守ろうというそのざっけの防衛機能がガッキガキに作用しちゃってるらしくて令状がなくちゃ私たち現行犯以外は何にも手出しできませんからね<笑> Should we commit a crime in her yard? おいしさんってひょっとして Rena's tone of voice alone was enough to make her spite clear as she stared at Uishi-san. Sono Zaki can you fumiko me nai mono da kara? Keichi kun you fumiko ma se yo to shite tan janai desu ka? Rena, sore wa. Do you i mi da? Kono hito wa. Watashi no sozo doori nara. Totemo hiret na hito. He fights for justice, though. Hmm. Hito giki ga warui desu ne. He's like, I just want to solve the case so I can retire. Demo, oset wa haichou shimasu yo. Uishi-san lit a cigarette and responded to Rena, wearing an expression implying he was calm and willing to let her comment slide. Well, yeah, if he's got that cigarette. Hmm-hmm. <laughs> I only understood about half of what Rena was saying. I knew, however, that Uishi had been trying to use me. Oh, that's why Rena's so mad. She's like, You were trying to get him killed. I would play a Detective Rena game. She should be the detective in the next Ace Attorney game. うちの試験に受けてありません。<笑>刑事課配属の推薦状書いてあげてもいいです。Do it! Do it! Do it! <笑>卑劣か。<笑> never mind. Rena spoke quietly, her words dripping with hostility. Note the self, never get on Rena's bad side. 私もいろんな悪口を言われたもんですが、若いお嬢さんの短い一言が一番答えます。Because it comes from the heart. でも、結果として、今日までみーちゃんを逮捕しなかったことには感謝しておきますね。そりゃどうも。ウィシさん seemed to be enjoying his exchange with Rena. The things this man thought were like a swamp. I could barely see past the surface. It reminded me again of how much I disliked him. さて、そのそのざきみおんさんの親友であらせられるお二人は、これからどうするつもりです私が証拠固めを終えて、令状が請求できるまで、のんびり待っててくれるわけですかなううん、そんなの待ちません。私たちが行って、みーちゃんを自首させます。ハッチタイム That's right. If she turned herself in rather than be arrested, she might get a lighter sentence. At this point, perhaps that was the only pity I could find in me to afford her. さてさて。そんなにうまくいくでしょうかね下手すりゃあなたたちも無事では済まないかもしれませんよ。ウィシさん was measuring our resolve. So, in a strong voice, I declared, そんなのは覚悟の上です。ウィシさん gave us an unpleasant yet seemingly satisfied grin. It was then that I realized this man was trying to use us for his own convenience. Rena literally spelled it out for you like five minutes ago. もし私たちに何かあったならそれを口実に踏み込んでください。Oh, man, 犯人を取り逃がさないように、ぐるりと取り囲んでくださるのが一番の希望なんですが。ニューグーさんは交渉も上手です。参りましたよ。交参です。ど、どういうことだよ。警察の人がみーちゃんの家を包囲しておいてくれるなら、これが万が一の時の保険になるの。Plus, it would be another way of pressuring Mion to give herself up, wouldn't it? Ah, Oishiori, come on, Jane. Oishiori, come on, Jane. Oishiori, come on, Jane. Oishiori, come on, Jane. Oishiori, come on, Jane.
増援をかけられるよう準備だけよろしく願います I would say the biggest plot twist to me would be if Uishi was behind part of these like murder plots that that's probably he might be the character I least suspect they're altogether too short conversation implied that our questioning was already a part of their plans では参りましょうかお茶菓子でも買っていきます Neither Rena or I went along with Uishi san's stupid joke. All right, we got a plan! Let's hope we can do it. And don't die along the way. <laughs> 